Hi, I'm Liv Jones, interviewing Mark Duplass here at the 25th Annual Florida Film Festival for the Orlando Weekly. Every time I see you in the world, you always step to my girl. Pretty good, Lib Jones. How are you? Good, good. So it's been about a decade since The Puppy Chair, the movie that kind of was kind of a career maker, started a lot for you and your brother. Definitely. Jay. What kind of thoughts are running through your head visiting this movie again after so much time? Uh, I want to see what my uh, pectorals look like when I have my shirt off because I think yeah. they're going to be intensely more defined than they are now. Um, I want to see the pacing of the movie. I have a feeling it's going to be really ragtag and slow and I'm kind of excited about it. Um, and I also am curious uh, to watch the cinematography because it's, it's the last movie we shot with just one camera where it was really shot like a true documentary and, uh, and some people get seasick watching it so I'm curious to see what happens. It's a little shaky. Yeah, yeah. it's a little shaky. A lot's changed in the digital world yeah, since for sure. this movie and a lot I'm sure has changed for you and Jay. As a director, though, considering the cinematography, what's kind of changed most for you on like the technical standpoint? Uh, it's a it's a longer conversation, but I'd say the the technology that was available to me in two thousand four when I started like making movies, I was so lucky to have a cheap digital camera that could make stuff that looked decent, you know, and that meant that I didn't need a hundred thousand dollars to make a movie. I could do it for like five to ten grand. That was huge. Now. The iPhone looks intensely better than the $3,000 camera I use to shoot the puffy chair. And, and you can edit your movie on iMovie for no money, and the drives that you need to shoot the movie on are nothing. So literally, somebody now can make a movie that looks and sounds much better than the puffy chair for about $50. So I'm kind of excited about what this generation is going to do with that. I mean, again, I was lucky 10 years ago because I didn't have to be Soderbergh. But now kids don't have to be me making the puppy chair. They can make stuff that looks good. So we'll see what they do. Yeah, so with that, the nature of you and your brother's relationship and your collaborative micro-budget mm -hmm. process, um, now that you guys have these bigger projects and these bigger budgets, how do you kind of maintain that same ethos, that same feel of the puppy chair? It's weird. I mean, most of our projects kind of feel the same. Sometimes there's more money. Sometimes there's less. I'm still making movies. I mean, I made a movie called Creep like two years ago that was cheaper than the puppy chair was. I still thrive on making movies cheaply. When I'm making like togetherness for HBO, there's a ton more money. But even on our sets, it kind of feels the same. We're still with our friends trying to make stuff. Sometimes we get a paycheck, sometimes we don't. Do you guys still kind of bring in that level of improvisation? Yeah, we like to improvise a lot. We work with traditional scripts mostly, at least for the things that we direct. So I produce a lot of things that are not scripted at all or they have like a five or six page outline um, but yeah we, we like working from a traditional script but we like to loosen things up to hopefully make it feel a touch more natural and make us honestly look like better writers so speaking of togetherness mm -hmm. thank you for two great seasons you're welcome it was awesome but now that the words got out there won't be a third yeah what kind of projects does that kind of open you guys up to for the future well, it's really big for us because we you know we wrote and directed every episode of togetherness and it sucked up a huge portion of our year so uh to a certain degree it almost feels like we just got divorced and we're like open to dating but we don't know how to date anymore because we've been married for a little while so I don't know what the answer to that is I know that you know Jay and I have a pretty voracious work appetite and we're talking about a lot of different shows and things we want to make but at the same time like we both have young kids so we're kind of like what if we just stay home for a little bit maybe we do some of that so I don't know what's gonna happen Speaking of that, um, you kind of mentioned like after work, the puppy chair, you and Jay have like a really strong work ethic and you guys like to work out a lot. And after that movie, you were kind of exhausted and like depressed. How do yeah. you kind of deal with being someone who's got all these projects going on and like maintaining mental health? Yeah. Um, let, let's, let's have like a four hour conversation about this because I think it's important for artists to learn this stuff. 
Yeah. The, all right, the basics are you got to sleep eight hours a night. I'm a workaholic, but you got to sleep eight hours a night. You have to exercise every day if you're a depressive artist because you will sink if you do not do that. Okay. You kind of got to eat well. That's pretty important. Sounds like some basics. There's just some, it's just some basics that people forget a lot of the time. Because everyone's like, how do you guys make so much stuff? And I think the thing is that we are ruthlessly efficient with our time. I do sleep eight hours a night. I have no friends. I do not socialize one bit. I hang out with my family, and I work with my brother, and that's all I do. It is National Sibling Day. Is it today? Yeah. Have you have you hugged your brother? Have you called him? Oh, I don't. Hang, I don't like five? that. I don't like that guy. I don't talk to him anymore. Do hang out too much? We're actually not really brothers. Oh. We just did it for the branding thing. You weren't filming, were you? Are we good? Are good? All right. All right. Good. All right. Great. Well, that's about all I have. Thank you so much. Once again, we're here with Mark Dupas. Oh yeah, we have like. Yeah. 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 Cool. We're gonna do some of that. Yeah. Thought so.